Very nice, that means it's another shave video weekend. <laughs> Welcome to the Sunday shave and um, hope you're having a great day so far, even though if you're watching this first thing, well, in British time, it's uh, very early. Hope you have a good day and some great shaves. Right, bit of a classic, inexpensive shave uh, in regards to products, except one or two things maybe. Um, what we're going to use, we're going to use the Rockwell 6C, the chrome edition, a gunmetal finish on here. Uh, but this one's, this one's a chrome, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and it comes with three heads, or three base plates, I should say. And if you can see, I'll just undo this. We're going to be using, if you can see that, R4. Uh, in aggression so that's just above half of course up to six slight overhang to be aware of so it's a three piece um, not adjustable once it's together but you can adjust it by changing the base plate turn that over as well um, so that's what we're using nice diamond knurling blade of choice today is going to be the treat classic um, brand new we're going to use one of them that's already in the razor and it was double wrapped. Got a piece of grease proof paper there, if you can see that. Um, we're going to use a pre shave of Prorasso White first. Just to, I've seen it there, thought, so I thought I'll use it. Use the big shave scuttle, I should say, under there. This is off Steve Farragher. And in there is the home of a, an Arco puck, which lives in there. Um, and when I finished, I take it out, dry the Pot, let the soap dry and then put it back in. Um, brush, DS Cosmetic, this uh, red tipped synthetic brush. You can see the, if it's red, you can tell. Nice. So we'll use that one. Put down the water. We'll wet the face. Yeah, so how's it going? Very well, I hope. And now we'll use this. You can use this as a, a post shave as well if you want. Don't need a lot. Nice. There is a sort of a little bit of a scent on it, but nothing much. When you got these things, you may as well use them. Okay, so we'll create. We'll start to create a lather. And splash it all over the place. And the old sunflowers again. Nice. So what's the shave of the day? You can see, you're not long getting a good lather. When I help this soap, I always put a few drops of water on it. I don't soak it, sometimes I do, but I usually just put a few drops of hot water on the top, just before I start shaving. Wet the brush, and there's usually then enough moisture to get a decent lather. Like that. That'll do it. Shave of the day. I know some people say they can't get a can't get a decent lather with Arco. Um, 
it could be technique but it's most probably the water your water so I've always said if you're not sure if it's your water get some bottled water and um, warm it up or whatever and, and try lathering with that and if it works you know then it is your water um, so we'll heat the Rockwell 6C you might hear some children playing in the background I can hear <laughs> right here we go first pass using the number four plate Nice blade. Nice and smooth. That's a nice set in there, number four. There is overhang, I might have said to be aware of on this. Quite windy as well. As my mother used to say, good washing day. <laughs> good washing day. Beautiful razor, well balanced. Standard scent on Arkle, but it's a good soap. I like it thick and creamy, it works well. And once I do this, oh, you can feel the slickness. Good stuff, very standard. Good stuff. I like it, like this for years. See yeah, that? Means there's a lot more work to do. <laughs> right, we gather. We'll go just a touch of water. Here's the thing I ask you what's your shave of the day? What's on the menu today? You're cooking, you're going out. Barbie. Oh, got a straight hair there. So just wetting the puck, I find, of the Arco. And that's an old puck, that. Many years old. Only a little bit of it left now. Um, and what I did was I pushed down a stick arco stick and pushed into the base of that and and it's been there since but i say just you can soak it but there's no need just i just wet the top and then the sort of a damp brush and then gather up you can always add water across the growth here we go what the overhang So how's life treated you this week? Standard week is it? Have anything major happened? Be 
Beautiful. Beautiful. What is it? <laughs> Somebody actually said that. God, you, say, you say beautiful a lot. Well, it's beautiful, isn't it? I should have said, oh, that's beautiful of you to say. <laughs> have a beautiful day. Okay. Bit more. Bit more water. Watch the magic happen. Beautiful brush. So synthetic. They're really good at lathering anyway. But, but uh, look at that. No effort. What's for dinner? I hear. No one ask. I <laughs> well, I'll tell you. It's um, roast lamb today with uh, steamed potatoes, Maris Pipers, I believe, and broccoli, green beans, two Yorkshire puddings, only the medium size. Uh, and lashentos of gravy, which I fill the Yorkshire pudding. You've got to fill the Yorkshire pudding with gravy. And then the uh, mint sauce on the lamb. Beautiful. And a fresh... What have I got? Um, uh, no, I forgot the name of it. It's like an ale uh, to go with it. Fresh or something. It was called. Anyway, gains the growth. This is a shaving channel, Paul, not a... Cooking. This is a nice blade. As I say, it works well in the a treat classic, uh, brand new, and it's uh, seem to be one of those for me, which is just right on the. On the number four base plate of the Rockwell 6C. I know, um, it's the uh, Rockwell, this is the chrome version, and there's the 6S, which is the stainless steel version. If anybody ever wonders. Really hear it doing this thing. Good audio feedback. Very nice. Really nice.
I find this to be a very slick soap sparkle, but the cream is easy, that's as good. Um, but as I say, some people have trouble with the lathering it and uh, generally are not like the scent. It's just a basic scent, it's standard soap scent. Some say it's a lemony scent, some say it smells of wee. <laughs> but thankfully I can, I, I can only smell the sort of standard soap scent. Derby is a very similar soap in how it works. It's, uh, um, how, you know, when you create a lather, how it's, uh, how, how it's slickness is. But, um, Derby has a slightly nicer scent, in my opinion. So what time is it? Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. Right, here we go. That's where you do it. Just on this bit here. It grows like a star for me, it grows all over, the, you know, it grows out in all directions. So, it can be known as a trouble spot. But uh, I try if I can to go at it. in every direction. Beautiful, right. Cold water rinse. Nice and fresh in. Oh, that wakes you up. Mr. Towel. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> ah. oh, that feels great. Oh, you could tackle the world after just shave like this. So that's how we look. And then we're going to use some homemade mentholated witch hazel. Would you care for a drink? And then, uh, Arco. Uh, this is one of my favourite scents in Arco. I've got Platinum, that's a lovely scent. But in the classic, from when I started, there was only about, what could I get then? Three, the blue, cool one, the Action. And I think there was a, a Mint or something like that. But the Action always stood out for me. It's a very sort of classy, cologne type scent. Um, and if you've cut yourself, when you apply this, you will certainly know. Oh yes, yeah, uh, come on, you can't. <laughs> Good. Classic sense, little things please little minds. Ah, cool, thank you. And a new find for me, not that I needed it, I don't need any excuses not to get it. Shop in the UK, Home Bargains, fantastic shop. And they sell the two phase uh, Nivea, they sell the uh, L'Oreal with birch sap uh, in two versions, one like this and one in the sort of long bottle that you've seen me use. I've seen this today, 
Nivea Men Active Energy. It's one I've not used. Probably the same as the others, I don't know. But uh, it's a bit of a knack to open it. There you go. Worth buying it for that. <laughs> so we'll have a one squirt of that. Oh, that is nice. Classic Nivea scent. Wow, that's um, like the originals are. That's lovely. And that is it. Okay, so what have we used? We've used the Rockwell 6C double-edged razor with the base plate 4, which is just above half in aggression or what it goes to from 1 to 6. Um, really nice number for me, 4. Um, a sort of standard, not, not aggressive, not mild, it's just bang in the middle, very comfortable. The, to treat classic blade, brand new, really nice, smooth, and it fitted this base plate for me nicely. Uh, we've used the Big Shave Scuttle, this thing, and Arco Puck, which I, as I said, pressed in uh, a year or two ago now, and there's not much left of it. Uh, that'll be rinsed out. We've used the DS Cosmetic uh, Red Tip Synthetic Brush. Nice brush. Um, oh, we used a pre-shave, didn't we? Prorasso White pre-shave. Nice. Uh, cold Welsh Water to rinse. Homemade, this is witch hazel I bought online in a half litre bottle and then I made up one with sandalwood and this one with menthol from um, PAA's chill mill. Just grinded a few and very little goes a long way of that. And then after I've done that we used Arco Classic. No it's not, Arco Action. A classic sentiment as I love this stuff. Doesn't last though, that's the trouble. Um, and then the Nivea Men Active Energy from Home Bargains. Good stuff. <laughs> ah, Mr. Bond, I've been expecting you. <laughs> Very James Bond gadgetry. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you stayed with me to the end, um, I hope you have some great shaves if you're shaving today. Good health. Stay happy. If you're having something to eat, enjoy it. And enjoy the rest of Sunday. And thanks as always, and I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. And I've got something different, very different I'm going to try. I've done similar before, and I've got a new one to try. So we'll see. I may do that on Wednesday. It's shaving, but not how it should be. I've done it before, but anyway, <laughs> keep you thinking. All the best. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Take care.